Hi, this is Bill from e &M. Today I'd like to talk a little bit about a product called Logo from Siemens. Siemens invented the logo some years ago and now it's in its seventh generation. And what's always impressed me as kind of a hidden gem in the automation field is, is the LogoSoft Comfort software, the, the programming package for the logo itself. Um, it's written in Java, which means nothing more to us other than it can be run in an Apple or a PC or virtually any um, platform. And what's really neat about it is actually some of the features that come built in. I mean, I can grab an input point and an output point, stick them in here, and we just tie them together, like simply with a wire. And it has a built-in simulator. So I can actually turn on the simulator and simulate turning on and off this input point and seeing the output switch back over. We can actually give these some names so they actually makes a little sense. So I'm going to call this a start button. And maybe we'll call this the motor. Let's say motor 1. So, once again, we've still got our simulator running here, but um, let's make a little more logic than that. Let me put, give it an on delay timer. And for a timer, we're just going to give it a, say, 10 second start. Um, timer 1. Name it whatever we like. And now, I can actually just grab this line and pull it off that one, bring it to the input of the timer, put another wire in, grab that to the to the output itself, and now when I simulate it, we're going to actually see the timer timing out, and once it gets up to its 10 seconds, it's going to actually pass power through to the output, and we'll see the output come on. Pretty neat stuff, pretty basic stuff. But um, some of the neat features about Logo include being able to add a little value to what is essentially right now just a timer relay um, because of this front display. The front display allows us to put any value or um, text that we want right up there. And the way we do that is we grab a block called message texts and double click it. And you'll see once I do, I've got available parameters that came from my program here. Let's say the remaining time. Let's stick that up there and we can say motor on delay time. Now I'm just going to grab a signal from my input button, tie it over there onto the display box, and run that. So now we'll see that nothing's going on until I push the button, and then we have a simulation of the front display from the logo popping up there. Pretty neat feature. Um, let's add another one. Add a little value to our on delay timer and say we're working for Joe's Electric. And we want to give him a service phone number 333. I don't think that's anybody's number. And now I'm going to tie that to a point that's always on says status one high and to do that we're just going to take a wire stretch it across here run our simulator and now we see that Joe's electric service comes up and I push the button uh oh I don't see my display why is that well we've got two displays on at the same time here what they have in there actually if I look in here I can see them both on but the one that's going to display is the highest priority the priority of our on delay timer is only a zero. So if I bump that up higher than what the Joe's Electric one was a one, now when I do my simulation, I get my motor on delay time. I turn it off and I'm back to seeing good old Joe's Electric. Just a brief example of what we can do with this software package. Oh, yeah, and by the way, for you ladder logic fans, we can still do this in ladder as well. If you prefer that, converts it right over, and now our, um, we see everything happening in ladder logic. Once again, this is Bill from e and Electric. Uh, you might want to check out our workshops on eandm.com. Uh, they're regularly scheduled, and we do one on logos. See ya.